Hello, my name's Laura Harvey, Outdoor Learning Manager. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a rope ladder. So, to make a rope ladder, you need some rope and some rungs. So, if you're making a rope ladder out on a tree in your garden, first of all, you have to make sure that the tree is safe. What we ideally want is a branch that goes on sideways, but we haven't. So, the other thing to look for on a tree if you're going to use it for a rope swing, these branches would be thick enough if one was growing out sideways, that would be perfect. The other thing to check for is that it's healthy. You don't want to tie a rope swing or any rope to a branch that is unhealthy or dead because dead wood is weak and a live wood is strong. So you can see this branch here has no leaves on it. That is the sign of dead wood in the summer it's nice and easy in the winter it is a little bit harder but like I showed you yesterday if you get a bit of twig and scrape it with your thumb if it's green underneath it's alive when you're doing knots you always have a working end that you're working with and a standing end that's the other end that might be attached or you don't use and a knot is basically moving string or rope in such a way to do what you want it to. So it might be stopping things from moving, holding things in place. And then the other special thing about a knot that is done properly is that it comes undone easily. So they're the three things to remember. First of all, you have to untie your rope that's been beautifully tied. We use static rope because it doesn't stretch. So that's what I've got here. And to show you I'm going to loop it through here but to attach it onto a tree trunk you would do a knot like this you would throw it over this branch like that and then wait for it to come down you want to be able to get the rope ladder down again so you'll put it down and then make sure you've got enough rope at the bottom to be able to reach it and pull it down. Okay. Then do a knot called an overhand loop. So like that, double it up, make a circle and cross it, and then put the end through. We'll do that again. So loop, make a circle, and then the end through and pull it okay. and then you take the other end and you put it through the loop and hoist it up the tree like that and you can use this to make your rope ladder or whatever and at the end you if it wasn't a fence post you would be able to pull it down because the tree trunk is round and you have to pull it down and get it out of the tree, which is what you should always do. Never leave rope swings or any bits of rope or anything non-natural in the garden. Take it down afterwards, it can wear the tree. So, I've only got one rope. But I'm going to show you how to do it as if I had two ropes. So, what I'm actually going to do is loop it through a few of these bits. And then just over like this. Okay, so to make, let me get my rung under my arm so I, because I'm doing it all on my own, otherwise, I'd have a assistant to help me. So, this is how you do the knot for a rope ladder rung. Try and do it so you can see it through the ground. You hold your hands together like that, and you hold the rope just over your thumbs like that. And then you twist your hand round the rope and wiggle your hands through. So your hand is in a twisted bit of rope. Let me get it closer so I can show you. Basically, what you've ended up doing is just doing that, looping your hand round the rope. Because you do it together with your hands together, I'll do that again. Because you do it together.
together, the rope ladder rung will be um, parallel. That's what you want. So, hands like that, all the way around, come through, hold the rope above, and then pull it through. This knot is called a cow hitch. Then, you can put your rung through, the bit you're holding on to, one there. First rung of the ladder done. Now the second one, you repeat it. So, ropes over your thumbs, hands facing fingertips together, wrap them round, put them through, hold on to the rope, Above. Got it. Roll. Little goldfish singing in the tree again. Okay. Just do one more to show you. So, hands together. Rope over your thumb. Then you put your, like you're going to dive into twist your hands around to come back up for air all the way out and then hold on to the rope above and then slip your hands through get another rung put it on and you've got yourself a rope ladder or attach it to another tree and put a couple of ropes above to make yourself a bridge or a rope walk. Definitely you need ropes as handrails for that though. So have fun, stay safe, stay wild, join up for 30 days wild